And here we have a testing setup for illustrating SockBit. SockBit is what I'm calling my proof of concept Socket.io and RabbitMQ application, for lack of a better word. It's just Socket and Rabbit put together, and it sounded better than Rab, Rabcat or something like that, and Racket was taken. So here you have SockBit. What we're going to do is start, uh, well, okay, so the uh, browser is going to be talking to Socket.io, which was running in node.js, and Socket is going to pass messages to RabbitMQ, which is a messaging server, and there's going to be a PHP daemon, which is the application core that deals with what do, how do I persist a note, and you know what's the logic for changes, etc the core of the application. That's going to be running in a PHP daemon. It's going to be listening to the work queue that's provided by Rabbit. And when it uh, finishes a job, it's going to push the results back onto the broadcast channel of the a Rabbit installation. And Socket's going to be listening to that, and it's going to pass the results back to the browser. So let's start the processes. I'm going to start one on port 8080, and a second one here on 8081. So here's the, what we've got here, it's listening on there, it's connecting to Rabbit. This browser session is already hooked up to that port. This, I'm going to switch this browser session here to connect to the 8081. Now. We've already requested, when we loaded the page, we requested the current state of the notes. So the daemon's not running yet. When we start the daemon, it'll respond to those queued up requests. And we have the two notes that are in our database. So let's add that as a new pane here. So here we have our database and print out our two rows. So you see these two rows here correspond to the two notes that we have here. So I'll clear out the browser consoles. When I change a note here in one of the browsers, once I blur out of this text area, then that's going to send the message to this node instance. It's going to send it to the PHP daemon. It's going to update it in the database and send a note back out to the browsers. Both of them, uh, both node, both Socket.io node processors are going to get the message and you're going to see it, uh, the change manifest here in the other session. So I'm going to blur now and you'll see in the other browser it's got this message. The update message comes to both sessions. Here it's received the update message and it updated over there. Same thing with this. And I blur it'll come back over here. Now when I look at the database it's been updated there by the PHP process.